Drawing is a skill. It's not a gift. If you wish to draw something you can see, you simply have to ask yourself three questions. Where do I place the mark? What shape is the mark I want to make? And how hard should I press on? Now the last two questions are called tonal and textural value. And we're going to cover that later on. First, we're going to tackle the question, where do I place the mark? Now we live in a three-dimensional world and you're going to draw on a two-dimensional surface. So the key is to be able to see the three-dimensional world in such a way that you can create an illusion of depth on this flat surface. And basically, that's what I'm going to teach you, how to see. Here, portrait of an old man. I got this one from a candid photograph. This chap is actually a, 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 a group of pigeon fanciers in Ripon. Many years ago, I did this drawing. Um, but look at this, all the beautiful sort of um, whiskery marks and textures in his face. It, this was really, really fascinating to do. Stubble around the chin here. All done with tiny little dots and squiggles, almost every pore of his uh, flesh recorded with tiny dots. And an important point here, very often in portraiture I see this, this shadow here is only going to work if you fade it off to get to, get it to look like a fold in the flesh. If you do it as a hard edge line, it looks like, like a mark on the face as opposed to a fold and shadow in the flesh. So it must fade off convincingly at the edges. And so I think I've come to the end of what I can pass on about drawing. I've done my best to present it to you in as simple and straightforward a method as possible. I've tried to make it logical. I've tried to make it build step upon step. But in the end, you have to teach yourself. You have to practice it. You have to work at it. So do the exercises. Go back to each part bit by bit. Build it up. Make your exercises practical. Do a plan as an exercise or do a very small amount of detail as an exercise. I use what I call a page a day book on occasions a small A5 bound book and if you can do something every single day 15, 20, 30 minutes to the absolute most but if you can do that this is you exercising it's keeping your hand to eye coordination going and that is going to give you success so there's no substitute practice, practice, practice